Welcome to Ruger Sound Tutorials. Right, we're going to run through real quick how to set up a bus. So you can set up your buses for reverb or if you want to have a, a group of vocals put together on the one track, whatever you want to use it for, we're going to set up the buses. So this is our track. Uh, right now, first thing you want to do is to go to track new make stereo track and then you want to have an aux input um, and create so from here the important things are this is your input for your track and your output for your track so like this track is going to out one two this is master fader only has an input because the output is the output of pro tools okay so what we're gonna do is change this input bus well, let's make uh let's make a bus for reverb we're gonna bus out all of our reverb so this is gonna be all of our reverb on one track so you can eq it compress it, whatever you want to do anything weird to it any effects put it on this track so get our reverb unit let's use simple reverb everybody has that one um if you see you hit play the track plays but nothing comes through on the bus and you won't be able to hear it because when I have Pro Tools on my screen capture program conflicts with it so the audio doesn't go through so alright to get your audio here for the reverb you need to send audio to this bus that we have and I call it reverb one if you right click it you can name it whatever you want for whatever you're using um, so these are your sins. If you don't see these sins, you go to view, uh, mix window, and sins. So you have uh, three, four, you got 10 sins you can use. And that's where they are. So mix window and sins. And they'll be right there on top of your track. So since you pick the input as reverb one, you want to create a send from reverb one. Now you have a send. So all you do is open your send by clicking it and turn up the amount of signal that you want to go to your send. Now this is sending signal to the reverb unit and coming down and then going and it's meeting back up on the master fader. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now you have a, a auxiliary bus setup. And when I when I make my buses, I actually name them. So we would name this one Reverb One. And now you have a track Reverb One. You can change the color by double clicking right here. Change it to whatever color you want. And that's it. It's pretty simple. That's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment, uh, like, and subscribe if this video helped you out. And if you need tips on anything else, feel free to ask.